everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are doing another shopping vlog. We're going to be going around Super Target and yes that is thunder you can hear. It's been absolutely pissing it down for about half an hour. We've been trapped in a car for about 15 minutes as it's just been too torrential and we caught this thunder on light on camera. Yeah, brilliant that I said we caught this thunder on camera as it thundered. Um, no, we actually caught a different thunder. This one. Oh, oh fuck. Whoa. Yeah, is that just, is that just, yeah. So yeah, that's what we were just experiencing. But you guys have been really enjoying these shopping vlogs. So we're gonna do another one. Here we go, this is Super Target. I think the biggest proxy to something in the UK, uh, or the biggest comparison to make is Tesco. It's very similar to Tesco. They've got a lot of sort of, um, sort of most things what you would expect really, like fresh produce over here. Uh, yeah, fresh produce, along with uh, cosmetics, toys, all that kind of thing, and then obviously groceries, right? So let's give it a look. You may be interested to see that they've got Belvita in this country. Um, one that we don't have in our country is here toasted coconut, that's quite interesting. I'm never, never quite sure what this section at the front is all about. It's sort of like highlighted flavours, I think. This goldfish, Pepperidge Farm goldfish brand, I like quite, quite a bit, quite good. Very iconic American product here, the Kraft macaroni and cheese. Lots of different varieties available. This is the large sort of pharmacy area, it's quite, yeah, I mean really that is the size of normal pharmacies. They've got some pop tarts there. Another product especially for the front bodies, Twizzlers Twist Strawberry. I don't actually know what's special about that, I don't think anything. Milka becoming a fairly prominent brand in the US. Interesting to know actually, Whoppers, these are sort of like our Maltesers, but the US is literally this year, they've just got Maltesers, so it'd be interesting to do a comparison. We went to the Walt Disney World Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party yesterday and uh, we got a lot of candy that we're going to do sort of comparisons with to the UK versions. Uh, what on earth is this? Godi Godiva only. Oh yeah, Godiva. Uh, Godiva limited edition birthday cake truffles. Uh, there's one packet left. The packaging is incredible. It's a brand I respect and it's on sale. Uh, correct. 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 You might have seen our vlog where we recently went to Publix as well and I think I mentioned in that one that they've got a lot of different flavours of Lin... Lin... Yeah. Uh, oh. 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 Five. Vanilla Caramel. Vanilla Caramel. Uh, 100%. Again, I will say it again. Blue diamonds. Yeah, I've tried them actually. Galaxy. So that, there like is a review. Yeah, review on the channel of that. They're sort of like raisins, which are obviously disgusting. Raisins are nice, mate. Wouldn't we? Nah. So I've edited that bit out. Um, right. So we got lots of blue diamonds here. This is an interesting one. Habanero barbecue. Interesting. Thai sweet chili sriracha. Sort of nothing up my alley too much. Not in my wheelhouse. Different Skittles, it's nice, I always do. I'm not a massive fan of Skittles themselves, but I love the packaging, like the packaging on that bright side is incredible. I've always wanted to try these. Tootsie Fruit Chews, but um, yeah, don't know. I've actually heard they're not very good. I've just always been intrigued. Ugh, they got Reason down there. There's actually a brand new flavor in the UK. Milk chocolate flavor Reason. Been looking, uh, we're looking out for them, been keeping an eye out for them, but not found them yet. Soda aisle, I do need a, that's uh, not really a soda aisle, is it? Oh yeah, it is a soda aisle. I do want a flat or still drink. I'd like to have a still drink to enjoy in the hotel room, so uh, hopefully we'll find that. Oh, Fiber Ones are on two for five dollars, that's good. They've got some really interesting flavours, look at this. Look at this, orange cranberry, that looks nice. Lemon bar, that looks good. Cinnamon coffee cake. Mmm. Claire's fun. Bun cookie dough. Oh, cinnamon bun cookie dough. That looks good, yeah. Zone perfect. I've never heard of it myself. Um, a dollar something. I don't know what this brand is, but I absolutely love the packaging on it. Look at this. Particularly this one, key lime pie. Just six ingredients. That looks really interesting, actually. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they look very interesting. Lots of different flavours. That's quite good. 
that awkward moment when even America's frozen pizzas sort of look better than our ones. Um, I, I don't know, they look okay actually, they look good. I'm sure they're pretty nice. I'd be, I'd be sort of intrigued, but obviously you're not gonna come to America to have frozen pizza, so. Look at this Halloween product, guys. Throw three musketeers, it's basically like our Milky Way. And look, this one is a Halloween edition with red nougat. Crazy. They've also got orange chocolate, not orange flavor, but orange color, Reese's, also for Halloween. Sort of just row after row of Halloween productos here. I can't do it, my, my voice is going guys, I'm sorry. Harry Potter! I can do it without the, without the volume, but the volume is what you need really. How can you make that weird new red guard thing from Star Wars look even weirder and shitter? Put it on a Pez. I mean seriously, what the hell is that? That is ridiculous. Really cute packaging on this Dove Witches mix, isn't it? That's cool. Oh wow, look at this, Pez has found Harvest mix Cadbury. Basically a, mini eggs. Solid milk chocolate, yeah mini eggs. That's cool, I like that. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Sort of weird to see it in just a big US supermarket really. They, they must be properly getting on our, well stealing I suppose, stealing our Cadbury influence. Here's something that we've actually reviewed on the channel, the Apple Mix Brax. This is in a much bigger packet. The packet that we uh, got was smaller and actually when we got them, we got them last year from Walgreens and they were a Walgreens exclusive. So now, they're not. I'm now wearing a cat hat or helmet, I suppose. Cat lad. It's been a while since I buried my head in a pussy that deep. <laughs> wow. You know, I can live sick too. Oh, you can record a message? Uh, of course. Here we go. Subscribe to Food Review UK. Try that again. Subscribe to Food Review UK. Subscribe to Food Review UK. That is terrifying. That's great. Make sure you stick, you stick that at the end of videos. Always stick that at the end of videos, Always mate. Stick that at the end of videos. This is going to be at the, the end of the video now. What? Me saying that? Yeah. Subscribe to Food Review UK. Always subscribe. Even if you've already subscribed, make multiple accounts and subscribe on each account. And even then, just continue doing that so all you ever watch is Food Review. And all you ever do is create new accounts until there is infinite subscribers to Food Review UK. Brilliant. That's ruined that then, Claire. Bloody <laughs> hell. What are you? Bloody ruin that. <laughs> tree, 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 tree. We actually filmed a vlog from here the other day on my uh, vlog channel, The Life of Michael Jameson. But watch this. Isn't, isn't that incredible? Incredible. Waifu! Waifu, where are you? Waifu, how done? Actually got a nice little Nintendo Switch section here. I know this isn't food, guys, but well, there we go. I would love to buy this, but I don't think it'll work on the uh, DVD player or Blu-ray, whatever it is, Xbox. What the hell am I saying, PlayStation 4? Wow guys, I didn't know they did this Stranger Things Monopoly, that's crazy. I've never seen, um, no Claire, look at this, look at this. I've never seen Cards Against Humanity before. You see this big box, Claire? Yeah. Do you see what it's called? Bridge. <laughs> that's brilliant. We found the Lego aisle and there are some things with like sale tags. That's a really good price point there. Oh, that's 23. That's quite good actually, I don't have that. Hmm, that's nice. Actually, when I was at Toy Fair the other day, guys, I actually saw one of these displays, not this exact one, but I saw an actual like, big plastic plexi case display, and it wasn't even particularly bad value. Go check out the Life of Michael Jameson vlog channel and look at the Toy Flare. Toy Flare? The Toy Fair vlog for that one, guys. Make way, make way. This is sort of um, holiday style. 
kind of foods. We're just in the sort of homey section. I think this vlog is coming to an end because we're about to pay. Here we go guys, whatever these Lara bars are, I've just found a limited edition gingerbread and also snickerdoodle. I think they're like holiday flavours because we've also got like chocolate peppermint stick of Luna there. <laughs> Another of the quirks of American supermarkets is this ice kind of cabinet at the end. Makes sense to put the ice cabinet at the very end. Oh, sorry, Joe. Sorry. Yeah, we just really he's had to put that. He's had to walk all the way because we've just been strolling off. Um, and then another thing is like a load of trading cards that they put towards the front. Um, so yeah, that brings us to the end of this shopping vlog. Once again, we do hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, and actually, just on the way out here, again, something worth mentioning: they do have a pizza hut, like a mini pizza hut inside Target, and also over there a Starbucks as well. So thank you for watching guys, if you do enjoy the shopping vlogs do let me know because I will keep them going if you do enjoy them. We'll probably fit in another US shopping vlog before the trip ends and then we'll start getting some British ones going again. Duh. Duh. So thanks for watching Food Review UK and subscribe for more if you're new. Cheers. <laughs>